Have you noticed that vinyl records and cassette tapes are making a big resurgence in the past few years? With the rise of vinyl and cassette tapes and the mixing with the hipster culture, it begs the question for physical media enjoyers. Now, even though streaming is the big thing right now and the physical media market is slowly kind of in a downspin at the moment with stores getting rid of their physical media sections and that, my question is, could the VHS tape be the next big retro item to make a resurgence in the next few years or that. To figure it out, we should look at the timeline of the VHS. The first VHS movie to be released was the South Korean film The Young Teacher. The film came out in 1972, but the tape was released the same year it was invented in 1976. After that, then every movie would be released on VHS, though it did take a long time for movies to go from the theater to home movie. Hocus Pocus came out in July 1993 and didn't make it to homes till September 1994. Nightmare Before Christmas took 11 months to reach your entertainment stand. And Star Wars, which came out in theaters July 28, 1978, joined your VHS collection in May of 1982, four years later. The VHS was ruling the market, essentially dominating it as the king of physical media at the time. It was the biggest way you could watch all your favorite movies or TV shows. I had some Blue's Clues VHSs when I was growing up. I actually think I still do at my mom's. But a new form of media would arrive in 1995. The digital video disc. The DVD. VHS didn't have much to worry about since it was still the largest format at the time. But it wouldn't last much longer. In 2003, the VHS began slowly dying off. DVD started taking over the old titan's role of being the best way to view your favorite films. But with this shift, the last VHS would be released soon, and by 2006, A History of Violence would be the last VHS to be released. Though now technically is possibly the second to last, but we'll get to that later. Just because the last VHS ended up being released didn't mean that VHS was dead. People still was, were watching VHSs. Hell, my 85 year old grandmother had a huge collection of VHSs and only just started upgrading two DVDs. The VHS was still around even after the format was no longer being used to print new movies. The VCR was still being made and bought when DVD started to take over and would actually, on a consumer level, outlive its format. The VCR only lasted 10 years longer than the VHS. The Japanese company Funai Electronic, who at the time in 2016 was supposed to be the last company to make VCRs, had manufactured the last new VCR that year in July. I remember it was junior year when we got the news. I was in economics class and my economics teacher said to us while we were like working on either uh, classwork or homework for that class. I don't really remember that much. It was junior year. And he was just like, oh, the company that was making the VHS or the VCRs have just made the last one. After hearing that, I felt something. I think it was gas, but I did feel another feeling. Getting on a more personal level of VHS, I always watched mainly VHS. I did have a good amount of DVDs, but most of my favorite movies were on VHS. If you watch my first videos that I'd film in my bedroom, in the background you can see I had movies in my room nonstop. Return of the Jedi, Jurassic Park, Disney's Dinosaur, and Atlantis were the VHSs I would really watch nonstop. I can only say for sure Avengers was the DVD I had on nonstop. I think it was one of the first times where I genuinely had the feeling of wow i'm getting old stuff that i had as a kid is no longer existing anymore just like how things from my parents childhood have ceased to exist in my generation i had the realization that when i finally have children i'm gonna have to explain to them how when i was a kid movies came on this big black box so you put it into another box and then you had to worry about watching it too often for the tape to start disintegrating and losing its quality uh, just kind of like how I'm probably going to have to tell them about how, hey, when I was a kid, when I wanted to play a video game, I had to get it on a disc or a cartridge. Thank you, Nintendo. But let's be honest, Nintendo will probably still release be releasing cartridge games when everything else is like 
digital. Now I would like to rebound back to the last VHS released, because the same month that the last VCR was released at San Diego Comic-Con, a limited run of 100 copies of Deadpool were released on VHS and Laserdisc. Talk about retro, huh? Surprisingly, the trend of something taking on the king of that era kind of stopped with the DVD. Yes, we now have the UHD 4K Blu-ray and standard Blu-ray, both better in resolution and sound on to the DVD, but DVD still outsells them each year. But the real question is, when would the retro revival of a VHS occur if it was to happen? Well, I think we could look at another retro medium that has been making a resurgence, the vinyl record. The vinyl record began to rise into popularity in 1948 when the vinyl LP was invented, to 1988 when the first time CDs outsold it. When the CD outsold the vinyl record, it started to lose popularity and it sort of went away. But don't worry, the vinyl record did make a resurgence, obviously. But it did happen probably a lot sooner than you thought. The vinyl resurgence, the start of the vinyl record's popularity coming back, began to rise from its grave in 2007 when they started to gain popularity again in the West and in areas of East Asia. Since then, they have steadily grown to now they are cemented in hipster slash audiophile culture. So if my math is correct, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, carry the one, minus three. The vinyl record had a reign of 40 years, died for 19 years, and uh, made a resurgence and has continued living on for about 16, 17 years now. And if we use that logic, the VHS, it ran for 28 years. And if you exclude the Deadpool film, has been dead for 17 years. So it could begin to rise from the ashes like a phoenix. But that depends. How are VHS sales currently doing? How many VCRs still run? Can you even create a VCR in this day and age? All of these are factors to the VHS's way to revival. The other problem it has to tackle is that it is significantly inferior in terms of storage for modern film. Oh! VHS tapes can hold up to about four hours of footage, five if you were in the PAL region, which sounds a lot, but from what I can find, is about five to 10 gigabytes max roughly, compared to the 4K Blu-ray disc, the highest format, can hold at its lowest 80 gigs. As a fun fact, Titanic has to be viewed on two VHS tapes, and using the numbers from before, you would need about three VHS tapes to hold Zack Schneider's Justice League. With that being said, the other problem is the lower older tech compared to our new futuristic tech. We don't use AV cables anymore like the VCR used to use or like old video game consoles. And I couldn't find a VCR that could use an HDMI output. I didn't look really hard, but I'm assuming you could probably mod a v VCR or that. Uh, we currently have a VCR in our living room that's hooked up to an older TV. And yeah, you can get an adapter to turn a VCR into an HDMI VCR, but then you gotta find a VCR that actually works and you might just have to hunt down a CRTV which the retro gaming community can already tell you how hard that is nowadays, but that's a whole nother topic. I think the v VHS could come back as a niche group, but you'd have to first work around the problems the v VHS brings to our modern world. And who knows, maybe later down the line you will find yourself putting this black box and watching it on your 4K TV. Probably not in 4K though. You're going to need a lot more discs for that, or VHSs for that.